What's up guys, Will H Tech Review back with another video. The Microsoft Surface Duo in the house today. We're gonna take this dude and we're gonna hook it up to an external monitor. I wanna see if this has a can be used as a desktop type environment. Uh, I got my keyboard here, I got a mouse, I got my Type-C hub here, and we're gonna try it out. Uh, my monitor is right there, I'm gonna re-angle the camera and just see how this looks. So I've had this, this is my second time having this device. This time around, I'm trying to make different videos about it. If you'd like to see some of my older videos, go over and search on my channel uh, for videos about four to five months ago. And you can see some of the videos I made about it then. But I got some video ideas for it this time. This is one of them. We're gonna use, hook it up to an external monitor and check it out. So let me reposition the camera and get this thing going. Okay guys, so we're back in. I got my 24 inch Dell monitor here. I have hooked up my HDMI to my uh, Type-C dongle right here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my device, Microsoft Surface Duo, and open it up and unlock it. And there it is. So as you guys see, Everything I do on this device, it moves over there. Now, one thing about this, if you close it up, it's gonna turn off your display there. So you have to leave that open. And as you guys see, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Uh, I can see my notifications here, but I can't see them over there. So that's one thing I noticed, but everything else, pretty good. You see, I changed the live wallpaper to Give it a little bit so you can see the display a little bit. So I'm gonna put the put the device over here for now. And I'm gonna be navigating with my keyboard and mouse right here from here on out. Here's my mouse, there's my keyboard. And so let's get back to it. All right, so as you see my mouse pointer, uh, I can swipe this way and get to my little uh, widget panel over here. Swipe back the other way, and I can swipe across. As you guys see, there is no split or divider down the middle here. It shows you full strain. Now, this won't completely full strain. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Uh, I can drag down and get to my notifications, get to my quick toggles. All of that works great. Swipe back up. I drag from the bottom and get to all of my apps here. No issue there. So pull that back down. I can open up apps. So let's open up uh, Facebook here. And I can sling it from side to side. As you guys see, grab a little bar here at the bottom and sling it over there. There it is. I can get out of this like so. Let's go to the Twitter. So here's Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and span this across both displays. And as you see, no bar there. This is full size Twitter. But if you're looking at it on the device, you see the divider there. No divider when you're using it with an external display. So here it is. I can go ahead, put that to either side. Swipe it away. Now I do have a grouped app here where it uh, you just open this, you touch it, and it'll open up two apps at the same time. So I got Twitter and Twitter and YouTube here, as you guys can see. Now I'm going to go to my channel. I do have a Bluetooth speaker hooked up here. Go to my channel, and I'm going to play a video here and see how this looks. It's playing it in the same resolution that I recorded it in. As you guys can see, now I can span this over. Oh, let me go back, guys. That's my bad there. All right, get the video playing again. I'm going to full strain it, and I'm going to span it across. So there it is, full strain. And as you see, like I showed you earlier, you don't have to split when you're using it with a uh, external display. So that is awesome. I can go ahead and drag this down. I can go back home. 
and it's still floating here at the bottom. And if I wanted to open up something else, so I got Twitter going over there. I'm gonna go ahead and go to ESPN over here. So I can move this around wherever I want it. Get it out of the way. And now I can stroll Twitter at the same time. So you got a nice desktop type thing going on here. And uh, you can get some work done. Let's go ahead and get out of that. So yeah, man, if I wanted to use something like, let's go to like video editing here. If I go to the, if I go to Power Director and open it up. Now, when you're trying to use this Power Director on the phone uh, with that split in it, it's not it's not good. But here, as you guys see, I did a little sample video here. So now I want to edit that. So now I get everything without the split in it, man. And that is awesome. I was trying to do this on the phone, but when you got that split and you want to get to a certain point and try and cut it, then you can't do it like that. Uh, so let's look at something like uh, Kindle Books here. See how this would look on here. So here are some of my books here. Let's just open up anything. See what it looked like here. And let's go ahead and turn some pages. So you guys see, I can turn pages. Uh, let's go ahead and span this across. All right, there it is. Let's get into this chapter and here I go changing pages. So this is awesome, man. Now, like I said, here it is on the device and there it is on there. So the books are, books are nice looking at it on here. So that's no issue with books. So let's go ahead and uh, let's look at phone calls. Of course, you can do messaging if I wanted to message my grandson here and he's in the other room over there. I'm going to go ahead and type him. And of course, I'm trying to do this behind the display here and can't spell right. And see if we'll get a response from him. So I sent the message. As you guys see, I'm going to go over here and go back to Twitter. Stroll around on Twitter and wait on him to message me back. So you got your full desktop type environment going on here uh, with no issues and it looks great to me. So there, <laughs> there he is, he takes me back. Now can I make phone calls with this? So let me see if I can call my grandson here. Uh, let's go ahead and call him. So you guys can hear. Hey Jalen. What are you doing, son? Hi. You're on the video again. Wow. Because I'm redoing it. I'm retaking this. This is the second take. You, you know that I'm still in the house, right? I know you're in the house. So say hello, YouTube. Okay. Okay. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I'm the <laughs> Bye. Yeah. All right, guys, so that is my grandson. So you can make phone calls while you have it hooked up to your external monitor. And as you guys see, you can get stuff done. I got my live wallpaper going in the background. And uh, this is nice, man. So if there's anything else you want to see about using this as a desktop, let me know and I'll try and cover it in another video. But as you guys see, no issues, no split down the middle. And it's working great. So the only thing is, as you see, my battery percentage is going down. I would have to plug in a uh, charger to keep it going because this is powering this 24-inch display as well. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H, I'm out.